Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhaira Bagga and today I'll be playing the final blitz with 0 seconds increment only chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always making sure that there's something to be taken away from the game as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before we start off with the game I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I am posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, quickly let's start off with the game and see how it goes. Got the white pieces, I'll play the London system setup which starts with d4, opponent responds with e6, bishop comes on f4, knight to e7, I can play pawn e3. Um, let's play c3, typical London system opening, knight to f3, you can vary the order of your opening but these will be the position for your pieces as we see strong pyramid in the center, apologies for that, so pyramid is nice, stacking our bishop now which so we can just safeguard it by moving it to g3. Queen comes on to c2 there, attacking the knight in the next move. Okay, he is willing to exchange some stuff. Uh, he can, can take on the pawn if I don't take, so I have to take here. He takes. Now I want to let him take so that my h file gets open up for the attack. Or should I take? Let's not take. I just get my knight on f3. He takes, and now I take back with the pawn, opening up the h file. He's probably looking to castle on the other side of the board now. Can we exchange knights? Will it be helpful? Let's go ahead with the pawn on a4. He castles, probably queen to e2, we are planning to exchange the bishops, we still can do that, it probably let me take it rather than taking because otherwise queen comes there, yep that's what happens. Um, let's take here. That's one of the defenders of the king. I see opportunity to push my pawns forward. So yeah, let's do and see how it goes. If knight here, then it's probably trapped. Okay, it goes back. Can I play the pawn forward? Then he gets back to his original square, so I'll play a5 rather. We still have got castling rights in the game so we can castle anytime we want to. Um, we should take on the pawn here. After he takes we are going with a check with the queen. Goes down. We can kick the knight away. Knight comes, oh, knight blocked my queen, don't want to be trapped there for the remaining game. I can take my other knight. Probably give away the rook as well. And then castle. Or first castle and then give the rook. He lost a pawn there. Why did he do that? As a check. If queen in between, which happens, he loses the knight. Some piece up. Yes, he can take that pawn and keep it. 
yeah, going with the knight now, attacking the queen in the next move. Still, we can proceed with the knight. Very active square for the knight. And can be moved because I have got a pawn as well. So it will be tough to relocate this knight for the opponent. If queen moves somewhere bad, we are taking the pawn. We can give a check. Lots of troubles I see for the opponent. Gives away the queen. Wow. To save his position, he had to get the queen there. Oh, that was a mistake. Why is he offering a draw? No way. Give away a queen. Why, why a draw? So yeah, a quick game which ended up with the London system. Let's analyze. If we were in trouble, how was the game? We'll quickly start off with the opening. We start off with d4. Opponent plays sixth. Kind of French defense, I would say. I play bishop to e7. And that's a weird second move, knight to e7. And then I played e3. Plays h6. All bad moves, I would say, in the opening. He has to work on the opening. That, that opening looks bad to me. Played c3, didn't go for c4, going not for the big center. Typical London system setup, knight to f3, opponent plays b6. Now bishop comes on d3. If he and Kero his bishop on G b7, I develop the other knight to d d2. Uh, then he attacks my bishop and I bring the bishop back on g3. Here he tried to exchange stuff, plays a bishop now on e7 there. I play queen to c2, knight comes on to h4, I take on the knight, he takes back with the bishop. I didn't take the bishop here, uh, I can of course, but then his queen comes in uh, and probably can cause some trouble sometime or the other. Also, if I say castle here, I, can, uh, on, I can't castle on the queen side because if I do, I lose the pawn. Uh, plus, his bishop is eyeing this wonderful diagonal and will take on this pawn as well. So, opponent here can quickly castle and uh, get ahead with his pawns for a big attack on the king side. So, that's what I wanted to avoid uh, and that's why I took, got knight on. Uh, f3 and after he takes my, I open up the h file also for the attack. Always helpful. He brings in queen to uh, e7 here, preparing to castle on the queen side. I realized that fact and started moving the pawn uh, to a4. He castles and now I bring queen to e2, preparing to exchange the light square bishop, which is uh, a very good defender for the king side uh, where the king has castled now. Uh, he brings on the knight now to a5, I would say a passive square for the knight as well. But probably knight didn't have a good square. So now bishop to a6, ask him to take. Of course, the opponent didn't want to take here because if he takes, queen also comes over there with a check. So can be deadly sometime sooner. Uh, he plays f6. I take on the bishop, which he takes with the king. And here I just went on with b4 straight away, making sure that I get cast on the king side if required, but I need to kick this knight away as well. Another defender of my opponent. Then I played a5. Yes, I can go ahead with uh, b5 as well, but then knight again sits back on a5 and didn't let doesn't let me continue with my attack. So that I played a5 here. Why is this not working? Why is this leech's engine not working? Anyways, we are pretty much uh, good in the eval bar. If you see, it's above uh, the range there. And here opponent plays uh, d5. I take on the pawn. After whatever pawn he takes, uh, my plan was simple to get the queen on a6. And that's what happens in the game. That's check. King goes back. Now pawn moves forward to b5. Knight comes into the defense now because my queen and 
rook are not no more connected the knight is in between i was preparing to sack my rook as well but then i thought of first taking my knight as well towards the attack and then probably i can sack so the idea was to now after i move this and suppose a random move by the opponent not this bad but um say he tries to break the center which can be logical because my king is in the center now i can probably go for the exchange as well and after the opponent takes i can simply take back the pawn as well if i want to or i can just hop in with the knight and i don't see a very good position for the opponent to defend this if he tries to break the center i can take back um opponent can get his queen in the center attacking the pawn and i can go with knight to uh, c5 here that's mate and one and i doubt it can be defended so yeah he can give a check take my rook as well but that's that's more or it uh, because next move it's mate so that was the idea uh, of getting my knight there and sacrificing the rook but instead uh, he himself blundered by moving the pawn to c6 so i take on the pawn first giving him a check which he defends with the queen thinking i'll exchange queens of course i won't i have a knight to be captured which i take on a5 he takes with the pawn and now i get my knight into the action here he tries to do the rook lift but i think it's too late to defend position because even if he doesn't so i can capture with the knight or the queen he's piece down already in this situation and he just tries to defend the pawn i don't know for what reason and gives away the queen that was completely losing so yeah a quick game with the london system setup uh things to be noticed going for the attack is important but make sure that you're pretty solid with the attack uh, you can always prepare to castle sack a piece as well but that there has to be clear intent and uh, thought process behind it not just that giving away a rook for free and then wondering why the attack didn't go off fine so i have here it was a precise calculation i would say uh, before going for the attack and that's what is required I hope you like the video do let me know feedback do like do like the video as well and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that i'm posting daily thanks for your time take care bye bye